The PureWick Female External Catheter from BARD is a non-invasive urine collection device that can be used on appropriate patients at St. Mary Mercy Hospital, Livonia. The PureWick provides an alternative urine management option to the practice of inserting Foley catheters. For guidance with identifying appropriate use of the PureWick device at St. Mary's, you can reference the urine catheter decision tree, which should be available on your units, but can also be accessed on Policy Manager and is explained in a separate video. Use of a PureWick external catheter is a nursing intervention, not requiring a physician order as long as the patient meets eligibility requirements for use. To be eligible for use of a PureWick external catheter, the patient must have female anatomy and meet at least one additional criterion. Those criteria are need for urine output monitoring that does not require hourly monitoring, difficulty walking from bed to chair or to the toilet, difficulty using a bedpan, immobility related to post-surgery or other procedures, incontinence-related skin injury, but that is not located in the perineal area, or has an active bed rest order. PureWick is contraindicated in patients that have urinary retention or obstruction, skin irritation in the peri area, are uncooperative or combative, experience frequent loose stools, or for patients with latex allergy, as parts of this device do contain latex. If your patient does not have any contraindications and meets at least one eligibility criteria, a PureWick catheter can be used. To place a PureWick, you will need the PureWick catheter package, which includes the external catheter and a packet of perineal cleaning wipes, suction tubing, and a functioning suction setup. This will likely be the wall suction located in every patient room, but the portable suction could also be used if necessary. The PureWick external catheter is a tube-shaped device. A flexible material secures a cotton cylinder that is used to wick urine from the patient. A tube extends from one end that will be connected to suction. It is often assumed that suction is applied directly to the patient with the PureWick device because people believe the suction is pulling the urine away from the patient as it is applied to the cotton material. But actually, if you dissect a PureWick, as I have done here, you will see that the suction tube actually extends the length of the cotton material. So there actually is no suction ever being applied to this cotton wick. The PureWick works simply by absorbing or wicking away urine from the patient into the cotton material. Through gravity, the urine then drains down the length of the device and collects in a small reservoir at the bottom of the catheter that is created when the flexible case extends further than the cotton wick. The urine is then pulled into the suction system because the suction tubing extends into this reservoir. Before placing the PureWick, attach the device to the suction system. If you are using a portable suction device, negative 40 millimeters of mercury may be enough suction to allow the PureWick to function properly. But most often we will be connecting to the wall suction. When wall suction is used, we will be pulling the urine against gravity to the canister located above the patient. Because of this, higher levels of suction will be required. Start at negative 80 millimeters of mercury, and if that is not sufficient, you can increase the suction by negative 20 millimeters of mercury at a time to a maximum of negative 120. You'll know if you require more suction if you notice leaking from the catheter. It would mean the patient is urinating faster than the suction can remove it, so by increasing suction, you should correct this issue. However, with higher levels of suction, there is a risk of causing the drainage reservoir to collapse from negative pressure. So starting at lower levels and progressing, if necessary, is recommended. It is also possible to collapse the reservoir if the small hole located on the top of the blue cover of the device is occluded, so ensure that this opening remains clear, and it will minimize the possibility of developing this issue. Use the included perineal cleaning wipes to perform peri care on the patient prior to placement. Spread the patient's legs, then palpate to find the pubic bone. The cotton wick should make contact with the patient at this point. This placement will put the base of the pure wick at the gluteal cleft. The gluteus and the labia will ultimately be what holds this device in place. You can begin by gently spreading the gluteus and placing the bottom of the purewick against the patient at this point. This mannequin isn't able to properly demonstrate this technique, but when you release the gluteus, it should close around the purewick and hold it in place. The same is true for the labia. Spread the labia and place the purewick directly on the patient between the labia. The cotton wick should make contact with the patient. As you release the labia, they will hold the purewick in place against the patient, similar to how my fingers are holding the purewick in this example. This will be effective for most patients. However, with some patients that are very small, you may have issues with their anatomy being able to hold the purewick in place. In these cases, use the mesh underwear available on every unit to aid in stabilizing the device. If this is still ineffective, the purewick will likely not be appropriate for use with this patient. To remove the PureWick, simply spread the labia and pull the device away from the patient. Suction should remain on during removal to minimize any urine spilling from the catheter or tubing. 
Never drag the Purewick up or push it down to remove it, as this can cause irritation and damage to the patient's skin. The Purewick should be replaced at least once per shift. It can be replaced by either PCTs or RNs. It should also be replaced if it is ever soiled with stool or blood. When replacing a Purewick, the perineal area should always be cleaned with the provided wipes before placing the new catheter in the same manner as described in this video. Used Purewicks can generally be disposed of in the trash, but if there is something that makes it a biohazard, such as being soiled with blood, it should be disposed of in a biohazard bin. At least every four hours, the patient's skin integrity must be assessed, and the device must be checked for proper placement. Document these assessments in EPIC. If any skin breakdown is seen, immediately remove the device and contact the wound care team. Purewick must be replaced at least once per shift, or more often if soiled. It is suggested to change it regularly with the patient's bed bath or during the first skin assessment of a shift. Do not use any securement devices or tape to secure the Purewick or its tubing. The only thing that can be used to maintain the device in place is the mesh underwear available in the pod rooms. For most patients, their anatomy will maintain the Purewick in the proper placement. Do not use a bedpan if the Purewick is in place. Remove the Purewick prior to placing any bedpans. Never insert the catheter into the vagina, anal canal, or other body cavity. This is an external catheter. It should only be placed externally. With initial placement of a Purewick device, identify the catheter on the LDA avatar. Type external urinary catheter into the search and add it to the avatar. Every time the Purewick is replaced with a new catheter, which should be at least once per shift, the LDA avatar should be updated to show the previous catheter being removed and a new catheter being placed. With each Q4 hour assessment, skin integrity should be documented under female genitalia in the basic assessment flow sheet. Output should be charted under the external urinary catheter section, which will become available when a catheter is documented on the avatar. The Purewick female external catheter is a useful device that allows easier, less invasive urine management than has previously been available for female patients. For a long time, the only truly effective option for urine management was a Foley catheter, but that comes with significant risk for infection to the patient that is not seen with Purewick use. Use of Purewick catheters is a nursing intervention, not requiring a physician order. If you think an external catheter is appropriate for your patient, refer to the urine catheter decision tree and utilize this device where suitable.